I was born in 79, and at that time, my uh, parents, they were living in Costa Rica, and uh, they had actually come back up to the States for a six-month visit, and that's when over the time I was born, so I was actually born in Oregon, and uh, yeah, then we went back down to Costa Rica, I lived there till I was two, and then we moved back to Oregon, we were there for a year, and then we moved to Texas. Uh, I was three, and then we were there for about four years. And uh, after four years, then we moved to Florida. And I was pretty much there for quite a while, like ever since. My parents were there ever since. And uh, grew up there on the country doing different stuff. Lived on a big ranch, like 27,000 acres or something like that. So I used to go hiking and do a lot of stuff like that in the woods and had a lot of fun. And then when I was 22, yeah, I went to uh, South Carolina for two years where I was a counselor at a boys camp for emotionally disturbed boys and did that for two years and then moved back to uh, Sarasota. Well, actually I went back to my parents' place for six months and then moved like an hour and a half south and lived there until, oh, when was it? October of this last year, 2007. So then I went to Montana for about almost six months. And now my parents in Saskatchewan. My earliest memory was uh, when I was three years old. It was in Texas when we moved from one little house to a great big two-story house. And uh, I remember moving in there, this big brick two-story house, which was an answer to prayer because we had a big family. I have uh, five siblings, uh, four brothers and one sister. My sister's the oldest, and uh, then I have four brothers. One of, one of them's adopted, uh, Lauren, and uh, then I'm the youngest, and my next older brother in line is six years older than I am, so I'm quite a ways behind him, but yeah, so I got to do a lot of fun stuff because I was so far behind, I got to do a lot of things that like older, the older ones got to do because I just had to have someone to hang out with. When I was seven, we moved to Florida and that was a pretty hard change for me because I left a lot of my friends behind, you know, in Texas. But it was a good time though in Florida because uh, we homeschooled for the first few years and my brothers and I, my next older brother especially, because we were both in school there at home yet, we go just get our schoolwork done and go out hiking in the woods the rest of the day and live there on that place till I was 12. Then we just moved locally, you know, to another house and where we lived the rest of my um, time in Florida until I left when I was 22. But yeah, just a lot of good, good experiences there. Um, my dad had a sawmill and so as soon as I was out of high school, at 17 I graduated from 12th grade. Uh, I started running the sawmill and did that for five years until I left. And uh, yeah, then at camp, that was a really good time. Did a lot of fun stuff. Got to um, live in 10 cabins with these boys and we'd take them on trips, and hiking trips, canoeing trips, and things like that. So yeah, and had a, had an enjoyable time. Then went moved to Acta, Florida, then down to Sarasota about an hour and a half from my parents and got into construction doing that and yeah that's pretty much how I I've seen some of my siblings every now and then my sister she's in Kansas and the rest of them all live in Florida right now well actually my one brother just moved to Montana six months ago with his family but there for a while they all lived in Florida except my sister I have, at this point in time, I have 32 nieces and nephews, and I don't think I could say all their names right off the top of my head, but most of them I could. Yeah, and now that kind of living in Sarasota, I was just having fun being single and stuff, and yeah, just for the heck of it, one day I decided to do the uh, mat, the profile, free profile thing on eHarmony just for the personality profile, I wasn't really interested in dating anybody, but 
and then I started doing it and uh, I was like, oh, I'll just pay a little bit for a subscription and see who I meet. But yeah, and so I talked to a few people and nothing really intense for quite a while and uh, just off and on. And then finally I was just like, one day I'm like, I'm done with this. This is just costing me money and I'm not getting anywhere. So I was going to shut it off, but I decided to email this one girl that I had emailed back a little while ago. And I was reading back some, over some of the emails we had sent back and forth. I was like, mm, she's pretty interesting. I'll send one more email and see if she responds. And she did. And that was Teresa. And so yeah, we emailed for a couple weeks and then instant message and then talked on the phone. And just, I guess it was about a month after our first phone conversation, uh, she came down to Florida to visit me. And it all went good from there. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how things worked out that way. God just led us together. And now I'm living in Sask Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. But I'd never dreamed a year ago I'd be here. Um, but yeah, that's how it is. So that would have been October when we first met in person. And, uh, yeah, we had a great time. The first visit, she flew down to Florida and went swimming in the Gulf and just had a great time hanging out, everything. We had a lot of fun. And February, it was a cold, uh, wintry time of the year. I drove up to Saskatoon with my truck, had quite the adventure getting there, driving through a blizzard. But I had a purpose in my mind, and I wanted to get there no matter what. And so I drove through some dangerous areas and actually had an accident on the way. But that evening, I, uh, we went to eat at a nice restaurant and things like that. And uh, I had things kind of halfway planned out. I was halfway winging it too, just however things would go. And I had made her this coffee table with her for her. And, uh, things like that and I had the ring with me all finished and uh, after the meal I told her I had a surprise for her in the truck and but I needed to bring it up and it'd take me a couple trips that was actually the coffee table and so I had her go to her room got it got it all set up lit some candles and uh, had this teddy bear stuffed teddy bear with the, holding a little box and that had the ring in it and a nice card and everything, but some candles. Then I got her to come out and uh, showed her the coffee table. And she was like, oh, a nice coffee table. And I had her open the card. And then I showed her the teddy bear and pointed out that I was holding a box, opened the box. And as I did it, I got down on one knee in front of her. She was sitting on the couch and opened the box and asked her to marry me. And it was quite interesting because I didn't hardly get the words out of my mouth and she was like, yes. And that was a good time. We laughed and she got really laugh, laughy and had a lot of giggling times. And we just had a good time that evening then. We spent the rest of the evening just talking about it and hanging out. Therese is a really nice girl. And there's a lot of things I admire about her. Um, in meeting her in person, um, like besides physical, being physically beautiful, uh, I really appreciated her outgoing, uh, fun spirit and meeting new people. She seems to enjoy that and is a great host and loves entertaining people. But yeah, that was one of the things when I saw her, was looking back on the profile thing and, and looking at pictures of her, I was like, man, She's really pretty. Why didn't I talk to her earlier when I first started um, talking to her? Why did I wait? So, but no, she's very energetic and I really appreciate that. And when we went hiking in Florida, the uh, first time I met her, like about the third day we went for a hike and the weather was really hot. Even I was miserable, but she just had a really positive, upbeat attitude and just really enjoyed it. And I really like that, that she enjoys hiking because that's something I really enjoy too.